How do you increase your focus, your ability to stay focused longer? The moment that you focus in on what you want to do, that's when you begin to have energy to do it. You are your own hero. You are your own leader. You are your own master. And I, that is a big one because we idolize so many people mm -hmm. and we want to be them. We want to be someone else. And in doing that, you lose all the potential of who you are. You mimic, you be them, you are them, you become them, and you lose you. A distracted person lacks energy. And when they get to the thing they need to be focusing in on, they don't have the energy to give. But when a person says, no, this is the one thing I'm going to do, and they set their mind to it, they set their eyes on it, they set their hand to do it, all of a sudden, energy begins to fill their life. Why? Because what you focus on, what you concentrate on, what you desire to accomplish, once your eyes are fixed on that, it begins to energize you, and you begin to see the possibility of making it happen. So. What's your target? What's your goal? Whatever it is, focus. Trust me, the energy will come. And we looked up to so many people in this world who will let us down. We're humans. I'm gonna let you down. You're gonna let somebody down. If you put them on a pedestal, you then lose time when that person comes up and lets you down. You must hold yourself accountable and being your hero, that's what that does. You make yourself so totally accountable for who you are. You focus on you and only on you to become the best person you can be for others. The will is one of our higher faculties. We have perception, memory, intuition, reason, and we have the will. The will to the mind is not like hearing or sight is to the body. All great golfers, all the really great golfers, have highly evolved will. They have developed the ability to focus. You know what happens is we make too many excuses. All right? And what happens is when you have so many excuses, just think, just say an excuse is, let's say it weighs one pound and you're trying to climb the ladder or the stairs to success or whatever it is. All right, so now you've made one excuse, that's an extra pound. Now you've made two excuses, extra two, five, seven, eight. So you have 30 excuses, you've made 30 different excuses in one month. Now you have 30 extra pounds on you. Is it a lot easier or a lot harder to climb the ladder of success or to stay focused if you have all these excuses? Hold yourself accountable. You know what the bullshit is. You know what you have to get rid of. The reason a lot of times you lose your focus, it's not you, it's the people around you. It's the stuff you're carrying. It's the individuals that you're carrying. They cause you to lose your focus because they're distracting your energy. They're distracting your focus. They become so needy on you that you can't accomplish what you want to do and you don't have the ability to say no to them because you're worried about their emotions. You're worried about their feelings. The world does not give a fuck about Tim Grover. The world does not give a fuck about Brad Lee. The only time the world will ever give a fuck about you, about me, about Brad, is when you start giving a fuck about yourself. Now you might not want to put a dot on the wall. Light a candle and put it off at your, opposite your favorite chair. And then just focus on the flame. Every time your mind wanders from the flame, don't feel bad, bring it right back and focus on the flame. When you learn to focus on one thing, you can focus on anything because what you're doing is developing a mental faculty. Now the average individual can only focus on a thing for one or two or three seconds and then they're distracted. There's a noise, a light, something flashes, somebody says something, and like that their mind is taken off track. People that are great at whatever they do have learned how to focus on what they're doing. All great salespeople are focused. Do you want to improve what you're doing? Learn how to focus on one thing to the exclusion of all outside distraction. Then this power that comes into our consciousness, we send it back out into the universe like a laser focused on one thing. It'll manifest in your life. It's the way the mind works. Learn to work harder 
on yourself than you do on your job. If you work hard on your job, you'll make a living. If you work hard on yourself, you can make a fortune. Work hard on yourself and develop the graces. All of the stuff necessary to become more valuable to the marketplace. I'm telling you, your whole life can explode into change. Promotions, no problem. Becoming more valuable to the company, I'm telling you, no problem. Money, no problem. Economics, no problem. Future, no problem. If you just go to work on the right thing, not get things out there to change. Don't try to change the seed. Don't change the soil. Don't change the sunshine. Don't change the rain. Don't change the mix of seasons. Let the miracle of everything that's available work for you and start working on the inside. Work on your philosophy. Work on your attitude. Work on your personality. Work on your language. Work on the gift of communication. Work on all of your abilities. And if you'll start making those personal changes, I'm telling you, everything will change for you. Be yourself. Look in the mirror and be comfortable with being yourself. Who cares if people think you're different? So what? So what if people misunderstand you? Appreciate the person that you are. Someone's opinion of you is not your reality unless you believe it. Someone's judgment of you is not your truth unless you accept it. There's a reason you are who you are. There's a reason you do what you do. And honestly, it's none of their business. Don't let the hate from people who know nothing about you keep you from loving yourself appreciate the person that you are never defend your personality never apologize for who you are and never feel obligated to prove yourself to others you owe no one an explanation don't let people make you feel uncomfortable about being comfortable in your own skin I don't care how many opinions you please in your life you'll never be truly happy until you embrace yourself you'll never be truly happy until you feel great about being you so don't let people your job etc conform you to a person that you're not never compromise yourself to be what opinions want you to be just because you think they won't accept you for being who you were created to be appreciate the person that you are this world is going to try to teach you every chance every second every moment every day to be everything but yourself they put a standard on beauty they put a standard on success don't allow them to put a standard on your life what's very important is to understand this that at any given time we have the power to choose to focus on the things that are not what we want them to be or focus on what we can do to create the things that we want in our lives. See, because at the end of the day, life is a fight for territory. And once you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over.